She moves through the world on her own terms, following not the sound of the pack but the beat of her own drum. She is the Sigma female. Mysterious, complex, and intriguing, Sigma females represent a distinct subset of women who live life by their own rules. They forge their own paths, moving to the rhythms of their inner compasses rather than the various social scripts dictated by the world around them. To the uninitiated, Sigma females may initially come across as shy, reserved, or even distant. But beneath the surface lies immense strength, resilience, and self-determination. They are wolves walking alone, howling at their own moons. In this video, we will explore the unique spirit of the Sigma female. We will uncover her origins, study her metamorphosis, and decode the principles that drive her. Along the way, we will reveal how Sigma females move through the world differently than their Alpha and Beta counterparts, and how their mysterious nature often leads them to surpass the success of even the highest Alphas. Are you ready to enter the world of the lone wolf, the Sigma female? Then let us begin. Part 1. The Path of the Lone Wolf Imagine a dark forest bathed in moonlight. The evening breeze glides between the trees, carrying the faint echoes of a wolf's lonely howl. Somewhere in the shadowy wilderness walks a single wolf, unattached to a pack, surviving by her own cunning. She represents the spirit of the Sigma female. Sigma females are akin to the lone wolves of the human world. They are introverted leaders who walk to the beat of their own drums, neither conforming to the crowd nor commanding it. They forge their own paths through life, relying on their inner voice to guide them. In the complex social hierarchies of humanity, there are predominantly two roles women play, the alpha and the beta. Alphas are the extroverted leaders who thrive at the center of attention. They are the popular girls, the social butterflies, the trendsetters. Betas are the followers, seeking the approval and validation of those higher ranked on the social ladder. They crave the positive regard of the alphas. Sigma females represent something completely different. They play by none of these rules. They are lone wolves, charting their own courses through the wilderness. Sigmas move to their own rhythms, neither following the herd nor leading it. They are perfectly content in their own company, neither seeking external validation nor commanding the spotlight. While alphas shouted, look at me, and betas respond, tell me I'm worthy. The sigma wanders alone thinking, I am enough. This independent spirit enables sigma females to escape societal conditioning and expectations. They construct their own codes of living, based not on the fickle whims of public opinion, but on their own inner sense of purpose and meaning. The Sigma female is like a one-woman tribe. She derives a quiet confidence from walking her own path, even if that path leads into unexplored wilderness. She trusts in her own instincts above all else. This lupine spirit serves the Sigma female well. Unburdened by the desire to court popularity or approval, she is free to embody her fullest expression. She can move through the world driven by curiosity rather than validation, seduced by the call of adventure rather than the drone of conformity. To understand the Sigma female is to understand the lone wolf. Her mysterious nature derives from the fact that she plays by a different set of rules, her own. She marches not to the sound of the pack but to the beat of her own inner drum. Part 2. The Metamorphoses. Great change often happens quickly. A caterpillar silently spins its cocoon before emerging as a butterfly. The Sigma female likewise undergoes a quiet metamorphosis on her path to self-empowerment. This transformation occurs in four distinct stages. Stage 1. The Introvert. In the earliest stage of development, the Sigma female is the prototypical introvert. She is shy and retreats frequently into solitude. She dislikes crowds and chaos. She recharges her batteries through quiet contemplation. 
However, her introversion reflects not social anxiety or weakness, but simply a preference for her own inner realm. Even at a young age, the Sigma female demonstrates an independence of spirit and a reluctance to follow the herd. Stage 2. The Lone Adventurer As the Sigma female matures, her introversion acquires a new dimension, the instinct for adventure. Driven by curiosity and wanderlust, she eagerly ventures out on solo journeys. Her desire to explore the world exceeds any need for companionship. The Sigma female recognizes these solo adventures as opportunities for self-discovery and growth. While her peers cling to each other for safety and approval, the Sigma forges ahead alone, relying on her own wits to overcome adversity. These adventures build grit, courage, and resourcefulness. The Sigma female develops a quiet confidence from staring down the unknown and learning she can survive, even thrive, in uncertain environments. Stage 3. The Self-Reliant Planner Over time, the Sigma female evolves into a self-reliant strategist. Having repeatedly tested herself against the wilderness of life, she develops skill in navigating uncertainty. She gains a heightened ability to plan, ruthlessly eliminating variables she cannot control while developing contingencies for those she can. She understands luck favors the prepared, so she prepares vigorously for her adventures. Her planning reflects neither anxiety nor a need for control, but rather pragmatic wisdom learned from her adventures. She plans not to eliminate uncertainty, but to harness it, bending chaotic variables to her will like a judo master. Stage four, the empowered Sigma. Having journeyed through the first three phases of development, the Sigma female emerges as a fully empowered woman. She now comprehends who she is at the deepest level. She owns her gifts and accepts her limits. She celebrates her uniqueness and abandons all need for outside validation. The Sigma female realizes perfection lies not in adherence to standards, but in faithful expression of her authentic self. She trusts her inner compass above all else, confident that if she is true to herself, she cannot lose her way. She is centered, resilient, and fearless in being exactly who she is meant to be. She embodies the lone wolf spirit completely. The Sigma female's metamorphosis illustrates her commitment to growth and self-realization. Her transformation is not reactive, but proactive. She evolves not to better conform to arbitrary standards, but to more completely become her true self. This lupine commitment to personal growth is the foundation of the Sigma female's indomitable spirit. She is empowered not through mimicry of models, but through manifestation of her inner goddess. She is a woman of substance and depth forged through the fires of her own metamorphosis. Part 3. Stoicism and the Lone Wolf Imagine our Sigma female completing her evening prayers. She blows out her candle and pulls the blanket up around her chin. She smiles, feeling gratitude for the simple shelter. She knows that true tranquility emerges not from what surrounds her but from within. This unshakable poise comes from the Sigma female's embrace of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism provides the ethical framework to govern her independent spirit. Stoicism holds that happiness resides not in external possessions or popularity but within our judgments, interpretations, and attitudes. By taking ownership of her perspective, the Stoic Sigma female secures mastery over her own fulfillment. Consider these Stoic principles embodied by the Sigma female. Equanimity. The Sigma female stays calm under pressure. She does not react but responds using reason. She accepts misfortunes rationally and resists getting swept up in extremes of emotion. Marcus Aurelius, an esteemed Stoic philosopher and emperor, advised, Maintain your composure. A reasoned mind rises above the tossing waves of emotion. The Sigma female embodies this virtue of equanimity. She stays steady amidst chaos, 
Focus on the controllable. Stoicism also teaches that we should focus only on what we can control and accept the rest without frustration. As Epictetus stated, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are in our control and some things are not. The Sigma female grasps this. She recognizes the limits of her power and does not waste energy on variables beyond her influence. She conserves her efforts for where they can make a difference. Independence. Stoicism promotes self-sufficiency, arguing we should not attach our happiness to things outside our control. Marcus Aurelius put it poetically, Master yourself. Conquer your desires. Overcome your fears. Train yourself. Educate yourself. You can do it. Sigma females need no external validation. They master themselves and take pride in their self-sufficiency. They know happiness comes from within, not from fleeting external gratification. Purpose and Service Stoicism argues that, to live meaningfully, we must align our actions with a higher purpose. Aurelius recommended we remind ourselves each morning of our driving purpose. Sigma females derive purpose not through popularity but through expressing their gifts. They know their lives acquire meaning through service to something bigger than themselves. Their quiet leadership uplifts those around them. Stoicism provides ethical guidance for the Sigma female's independent spirit. It helps her remain centered amid chaos, distinguish the controllable from the uncontrollable, celebrate self-reliance, and direct her power towards service of her highest virtues. Stoicism helps the lone wolf maintain her poise as she walks her own path. Part 4. The Lone Wolf's Path to Success now that we understand the origins and outlook of the Sigma female, we come to an intriguing question. What enables her to often achieve greater success than her alpha female counterparts? To learn this, we must first understand the alpha female's view of success. For her, success means accruing external power and popularity. She competes fiercely for attention and influence to attain status. But driven by Stoic philosophy and the lone wolf mentality, the Sigma female operates by an entirely different playbook. Let's examine how the Sigma approach leads quietly but surely to outstanding achievement. The Sigma defines success on her own terms. Rather than adopt society standards, the Sigma creates her own definition aligned with her values. She does not confuse fame or power with genuine success. She judges herself not against others' metrics but against her own. The Sigma female competes only with herself. She does not waste energy sizing herself up against others. She channels her competitive drive into becoming the best version of herself. The lone wolf runs alone. Sigmas build resilience by standing on their own. Since Sigmas derive strength from within, they are not rattled when they do not receive external validation. Their confidence comes from manifesting their abilities, not winning praise. This resilience enables them to weather challenges that shatter more fragile egos. Sigmas are not distracted by status games, time that alpha females spend competing for dominance in social hierarchies. Sigma females devote to perfecting their crafts. Their focus on self-improvement rather than self-promotion grants them an edge. Sigmas think independently rather than seek to conform. This outside-the-box perspective fuels creativity and innovation. Their non-conformity produces novel strategies and solutions. Sigmas plan meticulously and execute ruthlessly. Dedicated tactical preparation multiplies the Sigma female's productivity. Her self-sufficiency makes her a highly driven self-starter. She out-executes the competition. The Sigma female's success emerges organically from her self-reliance, inner purpose, and adherence to her own standards of excellence. Her success flows not from defeating others but from transcending her own limitations. 
This quiet strength leads her to surpass even the highest alpha. The Sigma female proves that empowerment earned from within eclipses clout granted from without. She shows that traveling your own trail takes you farther than following in another's footsteps. Her lone wolf spirit reveals the rewards of forging one's own path. Part 5. Embracing the Lone Wolf Within We have explored the Sigma female's mysterious origins, her transformative journey, her stoic ethics, and her unconventional success. Now, let us distill the essence of what we have learned. First and foremost, the Sigma female demonstrates the power of self-determination. Her autonomy derives not from rebellion but a commitment to self-authorship. She defines herself rather than accept others' definitions of who she should be. The Sigma also embodies the upside of solitude. She knows alone does not equate to lonely. She cherishes her one-on-one -on -one time with herself recognizing solitude as the incubator for self-discovery. Additionally, the Sigma female exemplifies the benefits of eschewing conformity and questioning conventions. She does not reflexively follow formulas, but rather thinks independently. She trusts the compass of her inner wisdom. The Sigma likewise illustrates the rewards of taking the road less traveled. She understands the most worthwhile journeys do not have well-beaten paths. She lets her vision, not tradition, guide her steps. Most importantly, the Sigma female proves we each have a lone wolf within, an inner voice of instinct that guides us, if only we would listen. She shows that each of us can walk a path that is ours alone and savor the freedom it brings. To fully actualize ourselves, we must embrace that lone wolf spirit that questions, rebels, thinks divergently, and strives for self-mastery. We must honor our inner compasses that point toward our highest potentials. The lone wolf represents all that remains wild within us, all that refuses to be tamed by convention, all that thirsts for freedom. The lone wolf is the wellspring of inner fortitude and independent thinking. We thank the Sigma female for reminding us of the lone wolf's call echoing within. Her mysterious, empowered nature stands as a testament to the rewards of heeding that call, of daring to walk your own trail, run free under your own moon, and be a law only unto yourself. For in the spirit of the lone wolf resides our courage to walk tall, stand apart from the herd, and remain untamed, no matter which direction our inner compass leads. Wisdom for the Lone Wolf Pack, Samurai Soul Subscribers My lone wolf brothers and sisters, this winding journey we have taken today ultimately leads back home to you. For the lone wolf spirit resides within us all. At times this spirit will feel like a curse, separating you from the pack and forcing you to walk long stretches in solitude. The lone trail is not an easy path, but the lone wolf spirit also brings gifts. Trust in your instincts. Take pride in your self-reliance. Do not accept limiting definitions imposed by those who do not see your truth. Create your own standards. Question all that does not resonate with your inner compass. And when you need respite from the solo sojourns, when the moon's call seems too lonesome, remember you are not alone. Our tribe is small but mighty. We lone wolves have each other's backs. Use the chat to connect. Share your lessons from the lone trail. Commiserate during difficult stretches and celebrate moments when your spirit feels most free. We may not run in packs, but we can run side by side. Most importantly, Believe in your lone wolf spirit. Let it guide your path proudly. Wear your independence as a badge of honor. Never doubt that your inner voice knows exactly where it is going. Your steps may seem unintelligible to others, but they make perfect sense when deciphered by your soul. So keep your head held high and lope confidently in the direction of your dreams. The lone trail leads exactly where you are meant to be. I am proud to run with you, my fellow lone wolves. Now go unleash your inner Sigma spirit, and don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell to join the Lone Wolf Pack here on Samurai Soul.